Hi everyone, today I would like to teach you how to use Zoom Player's Media Library Movie Scraping feature. To begin with, I will open the Media Library Category Editor. I do this by right clicking the screen, selecting Open Interface and then choosing the Media Library Category Editor options. On the right here you can see the keyboard shortcut if you would like to open it directly from the keyboard. Once open, I select a video category and press the Create Category button. Next, I choose the category name and select the base folder for this category. And once I've selected the base category and the base folder for the category, I can now choose which type of video category this is. Since we are scraping for movies, I am now selecting the movies type. And as you can see, I have my first folder within uh, the category. Now I will add a second folder. This is from a different drive. Press OK. And I have both my folders within the category. Now I can configure the category, but before I do that, I will show you the default layout and the scraping of course. As you can see, now I'm in the category list. Currently I only have the one category, the movie movies category, and I have two features here which uh, we will touch on in another video. I press uh, right here or double click here and now you can see uh, my movie collection. As you can see, it's automatically uh, starting to scrape. Zoom Player scrapes any media file which is about to be displayed so it doesn't uh, impact system performance. Okay, now every movie that uh, is visible on screen has been scraped. You can see the movie's title, the release year, the duration of the movie, the rating as rated by the moviedb.org raters. You can see the genres, uh, the overview or description for this movie, and the cast. Pressing play or enter, double enter, in uh, default configuration, since it opens uh, the mini menu, will open jukebox mode. Let me show you. Let me show you, for example, on this movie. In jukebox mode, you can see the downloaded uh, backdrop along with the information for this movie. You can see the genres, you can see the director, the cast, the description, the movie poster, uh, the release year, the duration, the rating. Pressing uh, on the list button will open the file list for this folder, something that we don't really need. And pressing play will start the movie. Or you can press enter on the keyboard. Pressing back will take us back to the thumbnail view. Okay, now if I scroll down, you can see that movies that were previously not visible are now scraping again. Zoom Player does this, so uh, scraping doesn't interfere with your user experience. It's all done uh, in the background as uh, new items are encountered. As you can see in the, at the top, you can see how many items are currently in the scrape queue. Scrape speed depends on the database. Right now the database is uh, throttling and downloads at one um, in at 40 uh, scrapes for uh, every 10 seconds. But it really doesn't take long to scrape uh, the entire collection. Um, as you can see, sometimes uh, movies does not that will not scrape if they do not have a recognizable uh, name. Sometimes uh, foreign language names can be identified. Sometimes you can simply type the English language version and it will automatically identify it. Now let me show you how to configure the layout for the media library for each category. So I will close the media library and press the sh Shift plus M keyboard shortcut to open the category editor. And now after selecting my movie category, I will press the configure category button. 
Here you can see the jukebox mode option. This is uh, the feature that I show you that shows uh, the full screen backdrop of and the movie poster and metadata when opening uh, a folder that exists in the category. Without this setting enabled, you will simply see the content of the folder, the files themselves. Uh, thumbnails view is uh, the currently the current view you you've seen that uses thumbnails. If this is disabled, the files are will be listed uh, in a simple list. Crop thumbnails crops uh, uh, the thumbnails displayed to ensure that uh, the entire thumbnail area is covered with an image. Otherwise, the image is scaled down to fit within the thumbnail area. This setting uses uh, a video frame as a thumbnail if uh, the online metadata scrapers uh, fail to retrieve any image or uh, information at all. Enabling this setting will use the file, instead of uh, displaying uh, the file names uh, uh, for each thumbnail, it will display the title that was uh, downloaded from uh, the metadata instead. This setting simply darkens the background of thumbnails. It's optional. Uh, it's a preference option. Uh, this setting draws a background folder for each uh, folder within uh, the list. Uh, I'll quickly show the difference. As, as you can see, now each uh, uh, folder is uh, clear, clearly marked as a folder. This is not something you would like to enable while using uh, jukebox mode because uh, it just wastes screen space drawing the folder. So well, let me close the media library and reopen the editor. And uh, this uh, setting here uh, tries to scrape the parent folder name if a media file uh, online scraping doesn't return an, any result. This can be a, a fail-safe mode uh, if the files are not named correctly but the folders are. Uh, this setting uses uh, a thumbnail derived or extracted from uh, a media file within a folder if the folder itself doesn't, uh, isn't uh, uh, scraped correctly or doesn't return any, any result. Uh, next, we have the thumbnail view layout. This uh, lets you control how the thumbnails appear on screen. By default, since this is a movie category, the, th the aspect ratio is set to movie poster, but you can change it to the other options uh, depending on the category type or your personal preferences. Columns is a number of columns displayed uh, for uh, on the on screen. For example, right now we're using nine, so I will change it to uh, six and demonstrate. As you can see now, we have six uh, thumbnails displaying uh, on uh, screen, uh, width-wide. And back to the category editor. And this uh, box specifies how many lines of text should be dis dis displayed under each thumbnail. This box specified the height of the thumbnail uh, text box. Between these two options, the font size is determined automatically. And the per uh, percentage is a percentage of the height of the thumbnail itself. And these two entries represent the horizontal and vertical spacing between each thumbnail. Finally, we have the metadata scrapers. These are uh, com components which are uh, which download the movie poster backdrop still images and metadata from uh, online databases this is uh, an open source uh, component that uh, connects to the moviedb.org to download this information you can press this button to configure it as you can see you can use encrypted communication which is not recommended it's about 10 times slower and uh, the minimum number of characters in the file name to, to even attempt scraping. And finally, what we are scraping for. Since this is a movie category, we want to, uh, it specified as movies. And lastly, you can lock this entire category with a password. This is useful if the category contains any sensitive information you might not uh, want to expose to children.
Thank you for watching this video and uh, I hope it has been uh, informational and uh, expect to see more videos in the future.